What is it? Hey, can you take like five or six or 15 steps? Me and Burns go way back. Grew up together in NCR territory. Started doing this whole caravan thing after I escaped. He's kind of a chuckle fuck, but he means well. Or if he doesn't, at least he's got some spirit. Just please do not play him in caravan. He's terrible and we're broke. Welcome to Burns Caravan of Wonders! I was touched by the funeral speech, Kurt. Courier, come. Take a walk with me. I don't have much time for chit. Just don't treat me like a Brahmin, okay? My back and I aren't exactly in our prime. I think it's time I show you the real reason why we have been fighting and freezing our asses off in this godforsaken wasteland. The reason why my men continue to suffer and die here. I'm sure you've learned by now that we're not working for the NCR. We are a splinter group who have removed ourselves from Kimball and his narrow-minded conquest to expand the NCR's territorial grasp. We're not against the New California Republic. I believe the NCR to be the best hope to have come out of this post-apocalyptic world, but I blame Kimball for what he has done to it. He turned the NCR into a warmongering nation that no longer cares for its own people. He is willing to sacrifice whatever and whoever in order to satisfy his grandiose vision for the NCR. <sighs> My boys, they've been through a lot. Kimball forced them to fight during the Brotherhood of Steel War. Most of them were young kids with little to no combat experience. But to Kimball, they were just conscripts to be used as cannon fodder. However, they still fought hard and bravely only to die for a cause not of their own. I promised those boys, those men, their freedom. the Brotherhood at Helios 1. I thought it was finally over. We had won the war, but at a heavy price. Half of my battalion was wiped out in the assault. 
all good kids. I remember each and every one who died under my command. The lives I couldn't save. The only peace of mind I had was that the rest would be sent home, where they'd be free from any more war. Where they could hopefully live the rest of their lives in peace. Or so I thought. Only a few months after taking Helios, the Legion were making a push for Hoover Dam shortly after wiping out the NCR's most eastward stronghold, Fort Iridesh. Suddenly, I saw it happen all over again. More kids being sent to their deaths. More families being torn apart and forced to serve as conscripted cannon fodder. More soldiers left forever scarred and broken by the... True, but only to an extent. War often only leads to more war. Kimball was, of course, determined to hold Hoover Dam at all cost. He ordered my men and I to reinforce the dam. I had two choices. Lead my men into another bloody war, only to satisfy Kimball's vision, or leave the NCR and be labeled as a deserter. I chose the latter. I'm glad you understand. It was not an easy decision. I had to leave much of what I believe. who followed me only did so because they believed in me. I did not force anyone to come to the frontier. These men and women look up to me as their leader, and I will not fail them. It is my duty to one day bring these people back. A peaceful revolution without any bloodshed. We only aim to remove that warmonger, Kimball, from power so the NCR can finally get back to focus. That is what I am about to show you. Can't you see I'm working? What you see before you, we call the Liberator. An awe-inspiring relic of the old world. It appears to have been some kind of prototype airship that was left unfinished beneath the airport. With this fully restored, it would certainly turn the tide for us in our conflict with both the Legion and Kimball's NCR. However, in its current state, it can't even get airlifted. It's essentially a massive paperweight while in this hangar. This is where your help is needed, Courier. As I said before, you're a legend who can bring change. Whether you help us find what we need, or just help us last long enough in this conflict so that the Liberator can be brought to fruition, will justify everything we have sacrificed up to this point. I hope you agree with me when I say, I trust that you are the key that will push us forward. 
I figured you would. Follow me. There is still much to discuss. Somehow Caesar learned of our presence here and sent his legate, Marcus Valerius, and Frumentari to spearhead the tribals against us. Alarmingly, the tribals found ways. Because of their nativity to this region, they have proven to be far more versatile and have been gathering resources and territory faster than we can compete with. They continue to encroach on us, even after our recent affair with them, which has left my army crippled. On top of that, I have reasons to suspect that the Legion of Spies within our own ranks. The reason why we suffered such heavy losses during our assault to rescue you was most likely due to a breach in our invasion plans. The Legion already had their artillery aimed at my fleet before they even reached into enemy territory. So many of my men slaughtered before their boots could even touch the ground. Furthermore, we have had supplies and weapons go missing from our stockpiles, most notably our tank busters. While their use by the Legion and even scavs has become more frequent in recent events, resulting in greater losses of our tanks and vertebrates. If you have any information of a potential... Dolus, where have you heard of this? Hmm. This seems to confirm my suspicions that Valerius was tipped off just before the assault. Now we at least know this Dolus is the one we need to look out for. This is invaluable information. Good job, Courier. I currently have Rancor investigating any suspicious activity. He's not just my personal bodyguard, but also my top reconnaissance agent. Eyes operations. and ears the frontier. This here is Wei, my lead engineer on the Liberator, who you may have already met. Yes. Hello, Courier. As much as Blackthorn may think I need your help, I will ha You'll see. You'll all see. Well, since you're asking, I could use 12 duct tape, 11 pilot lights, 10 leaf blowers, 9... 5 golden gecko eggs, 4 cherry bombs, 3 fission batteries, 2... 
It's an aircraft carrier that flies. It'll be a miracle if it actually flies. Blackthorn came to me after his trooper. Why, yes! Ever since I could wield a soldering iron at the ripe old age of two, I have been reconstructing old electronics back into working order. I guess you could call me a prodigy. <laughs> My robot army was all I really needed in life. Until Blackthorn offered me to come work on the Liberator, an opportunity and challenge I could not pass on. So here I am using my robots to rebuild this war machine. You see what we have all been working for. I hope you understand how important it is that we reach our goal in time. God forbid any of this technology ever falls into the wrong hands. Once the Liberator is fully restored, it can be used as a mobile command center. With the amount of firepower it packs, it could probably wipe out an entire citadel. We will use it to restore order, then we will force Kimball into resignation. He was originally a member of the first recon unit back in the NCR. Rancor and his unit were the first to breach Helios 1 during our battle with the Brotherhood and managed to sabotage much of their defenses. It was his cunning tactics during that battle that greatly reduced the amount of casualties we suffered. And just like the rest of the men here, he believes in ridding the NCR of their corruption. I trust him with my life. Ideally, I plan to put your skills of exploration to good use and have you scavenge any remote locations that may contain the components needed to complete the Liberator. General Blackthorn, sir. Whoa, take it slowly. Breathe. Now. What is so important that you ran all the way down here? I just got word of a possible enemy attack on the airport. Are you sure of this? Yes, sir. Reports are coming in from all over of a large group of scav vehicles heading towards the airport as we speak. Uh, all right. We'll handle this back at the airport terminal. And Tuner, next time remember to use the intercom. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. According to these projections, the scabs have been moving closer and closer towards the airport, and without hesitation it appears. It won't be long before they reach our walls. How many would you say there are? At least a couple dozen retrofitted vehicles. That's a mass of mechanized units. Why would they suicidally come at us like this? They must think we are still weak from the recent battle with the Legion and are attempting to finish us off. But we'll let them know we're not finished here just yet. What's the plan, sir? Send a column of tanks to intercept and ambush them. We'll wipe them out before they reach the airport. Yes, sir. I'll gather the men. Sergeant Johnson, alert the rest of the men. The base is to be on full alert. Yes, sir. Courier, I'll need your assistance on this. You'll go with the tank crew to intercept the scabs. You won't necessarily need to drive it. Just man the turret. The crew... Maybe afterwards we'll teach you how to drive one. Hell. Go speak to Watchmen in the maintenance hangar. He'll... said about wolf pack.
Good, you're here. We can set off now if you're ready. You'll aim and fire the cannon on the tank. It won't be too difficult to do. I'll show you once we get rolling. All right then, let's get this show on the road. It's a bit cramped in here, but it beats being on foot. This armor can protect us from any small arms fire as well as the cold. We mostly just need to be on the lookout for any tank weapons and landmines. I've also heard rumors that the scavs are retrofitting their vehicles with explosives and suicidally ramming them into our tanks. So watch out for any vehicles with a large bomb strapped to it. Don't want them to get too close before they go boom. By the way, this is our driver, Matty. Salutations. He'll handle this tank like it's his steed. I'll be manning the machine gun and loading the cannon. You just need to aim and fire that cannon. That sound like something you can handle? Good. Take this machine gun. You'll be needing it. Now, open that hatch and take a look around your surroundings. Much easier to see from up there, yeah? Take a few practice shots at those vehicles across the river. Get a good feel for how long it takes to rotate the and how high to aim to get the proper distance with your shot. through your scope. to come to us. Don't fire until they're in range.
okay? Oh, fuck. We lost Maddie. Oh, damn it. The tank's disabled. Oh, we're like a herd of goddamn Brahmin here. Courier, the turret should still be operational. Use it to hold us off while I get the tank moving again. So far, I'm sure you can handle it. There's still a few remnants left. We should finish them off before they have a chance to regroup. Keep up with the other tank.
Hold your ground! It's time we finish this! still alive. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but we need to get the hell out of here. I already called in an evac. They should be here shortly, just hang in there. See what? That blinding light that wiped everything out? How the hell could I miss it? Uh, you must have banged your head against something. This is certainly unprecedented. If what you're saying about the beam of light is true, if what you're saying about the beam of light is true, then I fear this may have been the work the Archimedes II death ring. Yes, we only found out about this death ray after seizing Helios I from the Brotherhood. Perhaps it was the reason they held out for so long. At best, the reports they gave seemed senseless, but I see now that they were completely accurate. Perhaps there are other ways of charging it. We don't know enough to be sure. Hmm. It seems beyond the means of the Brotherhood, and of all the enemies we have been up against. Only the Enclave has had access to the kind of technology you're describing. But what are they doing? The last reports we had pegged them fleeing eastward in massive numbers. Whatever their reason, they pose an unprecedented threat to our operations here. We need to tread lightly, Courier. You said you saw where that vertebrate of theirs was headed. Maybe we could track it down and find out what they're up to. I've already assigned him the task of gathering any information on the new threat. But be careful, we cannot- One more thing before you go. As promised, I provided you your own personal tank for taking care of those scavs. You'll find it waiting for you outside the maintenance hangar.